Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Caesar, and let me just start off by saying that I did not turn into a builder overnight. The build that you can see you can is see by Erin with the Y zero three two zero. And I actually saw this build on Instagram, and I fell in love right away. It's so incredible. It's so beautiful, and it inspired me to want to create a family to live in it. So it's supposed to be a Santa Claus castle. And so I wanted to try and create like a royal clause family. So at the moment you can just kind of see me checking out the inside and looking for some details to get a little bit of inspiration of uh, what I should include for my Sims characters. But I showed the castle a little bit in a nicer way at the end. And while we're doing this, I just want to suggest that you go check out Erin's Instagram, her YouTube. I'm going to leave the Instagram handle, the link to her YouTube and her EAID in the description box below. And all of her builds are absolutely incredible. I've toured, I think, one or two before. And they're all super beautiful and you can just see how much work goes into it. So I highly recommend that you check out her builds and maybe follow her on Instagram if that's something you do. So for the family, obviously, I wanted to create Santa Claus. And then I also had an idea to create Mrs. Claus and some elves. Um, the, the part about the elves changed a little bit in the end. And in general, I wasn't sure how typical, traditional I wanted to go with uh, this cast creation. I wasn't sure if I was going for the like jolly Santa that you know from like the Coca-Cola commercials or if I was going to go... I guess a little bit more elegant way, you know, a little bit more tapping into that like that royal aspect of it. And I knew that I didn't want to make Mrs. Claus as old as she is normally portrayed. So for both of them, I chose to make them adults. <laughs> I was going to say old adults instead of young adults, but just regular adults, so not elders. Um, and I did end up going eh, more closer to the... The way that we typically in Western culture like view Santa Claus. Um, at the moment he looks a bit of like Jack Frost because of the hair but I quickly changed that in the end anyway. Um, for me it's just it's difficult to imagine Santa any other way because that's just how I grew up and then also obviously I was gonna make him wear the Father Frost outfit which as far as I know Father Frost is more from Russian culture. It still reminds me a lot of uh, the typical Santa look even though it's not that like red and white outfit with the black belt I, I think it still like conveys a similar feel to the character I know there's also that movie I don't know if it's Legend of the Guardians um, the one that's about like the Tooth Fairy and Sandman and the Easter Bunny and I think Jack Frost is in that one too but I'm not 100% sure but I know that Santa Claus that's in there is also seems a little bit more Russian or like Eastern European um, is a lot more like a less jolly and kind of hardened more I suppose you could say but yeah that was not really the way I wanted to go and as you can see I did dress this Santa Claus in the Father Frost outfit on a couple of occasions so I took the green one for the cold weather outfit and then for the formal wear, I went with the red. And since he's supposed to be royal, I chose to give a crown because it had also the like fur trim and then the red underneath the gold. So I thought that was kind of in theme. And then the everyday outfit, I had downloaded this custom content jumper that I initially put on him. I did change my mind later on because I wasn't happy. But in general, I there's so much Christmas custom content out there. And so far, I had tried, so far I had steered clear of downloading any of that, just because I feel like when it's any other time of the year, it's not that suitable, and then it just kind of clutters all of my, um, all of my cast menus, and they're already really cluttered and really full, so I didn't want to have to browse through like Christmas outfits all the time, but for this specific video I did actually go on like a little cast shopping haul and I downloaded a bunch of custom content however as it is always with the sims kind of reminds me of Barbie and Ken there's just not that much stuff out there for guys compared to the female sims 
So for the male sims, I found hardly anything that was super Christmassy um, or, you know, that was like sparking my interest really. And it is a bit of a shame, but that just means I didn't really have that many options. Um, and so I had to improvise a bit. And as you can see for the swimwear, I ended up going for a bit of a Hawaiian look because I just imagined like if he's in the, if he's in the warmth, then that's what he would go for. And then as for traits, I just went for him being cheerful, sweet, a maker, of course, and friend of the world as the aspiration. Um, because I suppose he wouldn't befriend all of the children, but I was thinking he would like want to be super friendly to everyone he meets and make them quite happy. And then moving on to Mrs. Claus, I didn't want her first name to be Mrs. So I called her Mrs. Sandra Claus, you know, like Santa, but not. Um, and I'm actually kind of happy with the name. I made her a baker, made her talkative and cheerful as well. I didn't want her to have like this warm atmosphere that like I associate with the like traditional Mrs. Claus that we imagine. You know, I imagine she always smells kind of like cookies and is, is super loving and kind. And then I gave her the world famous celebrity aspiration. Just kind of like tongue in cheek thinking that normally Santa Claus is getting all of the attention and Mrs. Claus gets forgotten a lot. And I, I'm pretty sure that she was just added later on anyway. Um, because I don't think that this idea of Santa Claus was born with him being like a family man or a husband or anything like that. So that's kind of what I wanted to go for. And then I, I feel like normally she is portrayed as this like somewhat chubby white haired woman. And because of some of the outfits that I had downloaded, a lot of which are a little bit shorter, a little bit more skimpy than you would maybe think. I wasn't, I wasn't going to make her like the typical Mrs. Mrs. Claus. But in the end, I did kind of go down that way anyway, um, because I wanted to make her elegant in a way, but also kind of whimsical and sweet and have like some cute clothes. So normally what I do with my Sims, if I have a lot of options for their outfits, I kind of just go into like the everyday wear and all of the looks that I like for them. I just put them on the different uh, outfit numbers. And then if I find one that's really nice for, for example, cold weather, like here, I then immediately go into the cold weather and immediately add it there already. Um, but for things that are a little bit more interchangeable, like formal wear, party look, uh, the hot weather and the everyday wear, I normally just collect all of the ones I like and then later compare them more easily and then look through which ones I like. And then finding them again for the other categories is normally quite quick because I know where to find them. And as you can probably tell for Mrs. Claus, the theme was very distinctly red, white and fur. <laughs> so anything that had those attributes, I immediately added it. Um, and then I found these like super cute boots that have the, I don't know what you call it, the like swirled tip. And for the hot weather look, I also went for a shorter dress and put like some candy, um, like took the squatch that had some candy on it. Uh, I don't know. I just wanted it to look cute. I mean, it's still very Christmassy for being in hot weather, but I mean, she's, she's Mrs. Claus. I feel like you can give her a pass for that. And as you can see, I left the hair kind of until I had assigned all of the outfits to then change it. Sometimes I find that easier to get a better idea of who the character is and then find a hairdo that matches a little bit better. And for her, I decided to take this really soft, wavy updo and um, and this dress, by the way, that we can see right now, I love it so much, as well as the party look. I think they're both super cute. And then I had this uh, this crown, as you can see here. It's like a headband that's super Christmassy that I had downloaded and really wanted to use, but it didn't really work with the um, other updo that I chose. So I decided to change her hairstyle for this look and add some jewelry and makeup to kind of balance out the, the headpiece. And in general, I didn't really give her any eye makeup just because I, I felt like it didn't work without the eyelashes and the eyelashes didn't really seem to suit her. And then I wanted to make the elves 
and so I went to play with genetics and it created this like super cute girl that was had white hair and was wearing like an icy looking dress and I thought that was so perfect and I wasn't going to give them an actual biological child but seeing her changed my mind um, so I come back to her later and then first I went and created uh, an elf that's not actually going to be their son but I did use genetics to kind of get a face that I already like and for some reason I always feel like elves have to have brown hair uh, I don't know why that is but yeah so he's just an elf I ended up calling him tinsel <laughs> which I think is a really cute name it's not like super original but it didn't really matter and then for his outfits wherever it makes sense I just ended up giving him this like elf costume um, I not sure I think it comes with the holiday pack uh, and I just used a bunch of the different colors that come with it and some of the EA hats and some custom content hats for his looks and for both of the children I didn't include the whole like choosing the outfits and things because it's not that interesting I think because there's not that many options and especially for tinsel since most of them are the same I didn't think that I wanted to um, show the whole entire process but yeah as you can see I just took all of the the like elf outfits and put it in different colors save for the swimwear because there doesn't really make any sense and then for the hot weather look I don't know why but I decided to give this weird other hat that I think is like a medieval sims conversion um, I don't know why I wanted to do it but I just wanted to change it up a bit and I guess make it a little bit less holiday inspired and more casual if you can even say that for this outfit and then for the daughter I called her candy I literally just looked <laughs> at my Christmas tree and what was hanging on it and there was a candy cane so I felt like that was suitable and as you can see for her I had a lot more CC that I had downloaded again for the guys there was hardly anything that I could find for the boys and most of it just like the um, just like Mrs. Sandra Claus I gave her red and white as a theme except for the formal wear because that's kind of what she was generated with and I really like that dress and I didn't really alter much about her like especially the face I didn't really change much except for getting rid of her red eye color because I thought that wasn't so fitting but yeah I'm happy that I ended up creating her anyway because I like I said I wasn't going to but I have all this pretty CC that I downloaded and looking at it now it wouldn't have really made sense to put that on an elf which was like my original idea and then for the hot weather look because her mom had a bunch of baked goods um, on her dress I wanted to give candy like this apron to kind of match her mother's outfit and I gave her two formal wear uh, sorry two cold weather looks because I really like this dress that she's wearing now but then I also had these CC boots that I wanted to show so I gave her another outfit as well and then I thought I was pretty much done but when I went to finish with the sims I thought that Mr. well Mr. Gloss that Santa Claus really stood out and I didn't like his everyday outfit at all so I went in and I ended up changing it and I also changed his ridiculous athletic um, look and I'm not gonna say it turned out much better <laughs> but I just didn't know what to do with him athletic wise uh, and then for Mrs. Claus, I felt like that she needed a pair of glasses. Also, when I looked at the um, the Sims when I was about to finish. And in the end, I'm quite happy with how they look together. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I really had a lot of fun creating these Sims. And I hope you enjoyed it as well. Thanks to Erin for sharing your build with everyone. And for putting this incredible work in. I really, really love the build. I think you can tell. Uh, and this is my first time kind of playing around with the cinematic mode to um, film some videos and yeah I think it's quite nice because it gives like a 360 degree view of the castle and filming this video and editing it has put me in such a good Christmas mood I had some hot chocolate with it and I love these shots of it so I am really excited also sorry about the Valentine's decorations that are up it was like the love fest or something in the sims and uh, I kind of realized it a little bit too late but I hope you had a lot of fun watching and that I'll see you again for the next video bye